So I just watched this podcast about game development in China and honestly, this is crazy. The studios are replacing entire teams with AI. So developers are doing in one day what used to take teams three days. This changes a lot for indie developers. Here's my thoughts on how it will impact solo devs and small teams. I recently came across a podcast featuring a Chinese developer who's been in mobile games for many years. The stuff he shared about AI and game development really made me rethink indie development. And this is what's happening right now in China's mobile game industry. Over 80% of Chinese game developers are already using AI tools in production. Here is a concrete example. A typical studio used to be 5 or 6 people. 2 artists, 2 or 3 programmers, maybe a designer. Now, 3 people. One artist, one programmer, one game designer. The other three got replaced by AI agents handling art generation, coding assistance, and content creation. That's happening right now. And this developer from the podcast mentioned a studio boss who said something pretty brutal. Why hire another programmer when their monthly salary could buy me a new RTX 5090 graphics card every month? Chinese studios now run their own AI models on local hardware instead of paying for cloud services. They own the infrastructure. So you are competing with small teams using AI tools that can output what used to require bigger studios. The economics have completely shifted. Let me get specific because examples are wild. 3D and 2D art. One studio used AI to generate 50 buildings across a 50,000 square meter map in just one week using custom trained models. The game went from concept to launch in two weeks. Their efficiency improved by 80% and it's still in the top 20 rankings. The key thing here is they are training custom models. They are not just using generic AI art, they train models on their previous games to maintain consistent art styles that fit their market. This keeps quality high and avoid copyright issues. Writing and story content. This number is crazy. One or two people can now generate three to five complete game stories in a single day. Back in early 2023, the same amount of content took a studio three days with more people. That's like 5 10x time increase in just two years. Voice acting. AI voice synthesis is handling character dialogue and it's reaching professional quality levels. Marketing and ads. Here's what they call Chinese speed. If a meme goes viral today in Chinese social network, tomorrow there will be games featuring that meme in their levels. Not next week. Tomorrow. The turnaround time has compressed to basically nothing. Playable ads. Major Chinese game companies are generating 50 to 20 playable ads every single day. Each one costs 1 to 2 grand when outsourced. Here is the interesting part, only about 10% of those playables actually get used in final campaigns, but it doesn't matter because production is so cheap and fast that they can just test everything and pick the winners. And apparently by mid-2026, most major ad platforms will have built-in AI system that can generate a complete playable ad in under 30 minutes. The development cycle has literally gone from months to days in some cases. This is what really got me thinking about my own path. In the old model, you need deep expertise in one specific thing. If you were a mediocre artist, you couldn't compete with a great artist. If you were an okay programmer, you couldn't compete with a senior dev. Specialization was everything. But AI is flipping this completely. Now you don't need to be an amazing artist. You need to understand art direction and visual design principles enough to guide AI tools toward your vision. You need to recognize quality and iterate effectively. You don't need to be a 10x programmer. You need to understand code architecture and game systems enough to direct AI coding assistance and integrate the results properly. You don't need to be a professional writer. You need to understand story structure and pacing enough to shape and edit what AI generates into something compelling. The skill that matters now is understanding multiple disciplines at a functional level, combined with knowing how to effectively direct AI tools in each area. Generalists always struggled before because you couldn't compete with specialists in their own domains. Your jack-of-all-trades approach meant you were mediocre at everything, but now if you understand enough about art, coding, design, sound and marketing to effectively direct AI in each area, you could basically operate like a full studio. The jack-of-all-trades thing used to be an insult. Jack-of-all-trades, master of none. 
Now, I think it's actually the winning strategy. You're not trying to be the best artist or the best coder. You're a director coordinating AI specialists across all disciplines. But for indie developers, especially for those who are always wanted to make games but felt limited because they weren't the best artist or the best coder or couldn't afford to hire specialists, this is actually kind of massive opportunity. If you have a good creation vision, decent understanding across multiple areas and you're willing to learn these tools, you can now compete in ways that just weren't possible before. So yeah, the Chinese mobile game industry is basically showing us a preview of where all of this is heading globally. Smaller teams, broader skill sets and production speeds that would have seemed completely impossible just two years ago. My advice? Start learning broadly across disciplines. Experiment with AI tools in every aspect of game development. Stop thinking of yourself as a specialist and start thinking of yourself as a director of AI agents. Because that's what successful indie developers are going to look like very soon. The barrier to entry for game development has never been lower, but the pace of development has never been faster. It's exciting and kind of terrifying at the same time. But this is where we are at. The future belongs to adaptable generalists who embrace these tools, not specialists who resist them. All right, what do you think? Are you excited about this shift? Worried about it? Already using AI in your workflow? And let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your perspective. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.